Hey guys. Hello everybody we're, again. We're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. A little uh, country internet glitch there. Uh, if you were just watching us live and noticed that we just disappeared off the face of the earth, that's because our internet cut out. So and we did. We're back. <laughs> All right. So thank you for joining us tonight. It's Thursday night, almost Friday actually, because it's very late here. It's 10 o'clock our time. We're in Alberta. Yeah. I'm Vanessa and James. And I'm, well, not, I'm, I'm, I'm James. I'm not both of us. <laughs> Vanessa and James. And uh, tonight is Let's Chat Thursday. We're doing a series, 26 parts. Tonight's episode four, the letter D. Um, last week, we talked about everything camping. Um, we actually had a really awesome long weekend. Um, I didn't want to come home. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun. We were camping, obviously, on the weekend. Yeah. So if you're watching, say hi. We'd love to know where you're from. If you're catching the replay, drop a line. Tonight, we are talking about man's best friend. Donuts. No. Donuts? No, no, no. No, not donuts. <laughs> Just kidding. We're talking about dogs tonight. They last longer. Yes, this is very true. <laughs> uh, the reason we're talking about dogs is it is our dog's birthday this week. He turned 11 yesterday. That's right. Our fur baby is growing <laughs> up. It's so sad. He's our old man. I now have two old men in the house. One and the dog. <laughs> our dog's name is Coda. We got him in 2010. We got him from a breeder um, just outside of Alberta. And he was three months old when we brought him home. He was about uh, this big. Uh, no. Maybe when we met him. Exactly. When we met well, him. Well, yeah. When we brought him home, he was pretty big. And he grew super fast. Like, I have a picture. I think he was only four months old. And he literally was, like, the ha the whole length of my top half yeah. of my body. I was holding him. And he has these huge paws. And everyone was like, he's going to be such a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, even when we take him out now walking um, or at the campsites anywhere, like, everyone always comments how big of a dog he is. And yeah. he's not big like weight wise like he's only about 65 pounds but he's tall like he has really long legs he's he's very lean yeah he's very lean and his dog was or his dog his dad was a very big dog yeah. as well that was one thing i thought was really neat going to the breeders as we got to meet his parents and stuff which mm -hmm. was really cool yeah that was cool um so coda is a husky and they are bred to pull so I don't know if anybody else has ever owned a Husky, but honestly, it has been a challenge. Not so much, obviously, anymore at his old age. But um, when we got him, t training him how to walk properly on a leash, that was like a huge struggle for yeah, us. that was a big one. Um, pulled hard. Really, really hard. And um, we did a lot of one-on-one -on -one personal training. We did group work with him. We put a lot, a lot of work into it. And he was doing really well while we lived in town. Um, but if you caught episode one, we talked about moving out to an acreage and that was one of our pros for us about moving out to the acreage is that we'd have all the space for Coda. So we actually don't walk him very much anymore. Um, the only time he really goes on a leash is if he's going in the truck with you to go to his vet appointments or we're going camping. He has to be on a leash. Um, we do have a really long leash for him while we're in the campsite, but walking him now is really easy. The girls actually walk him because um, he has hip dysplasia and he's slowed down quite a bit. So yeah. he's very easy to walk, <laughs> except he's stubborn. He likes to take his time. He likes to smell everything. Yeah. So every rose that he can find, <laughs> he smells it. We love Coda. He's our first baby. Hmm. And I just I, like, I can't believe it's been 11 years. And it makes me sad that we only have maybe a couple more years with him. Yeah. It's very sad. Um, I want to also talk about today um, what your favorite type of dog is. I was trying to do a poll, but I'm not, I did, couldn't quite figure it out. But let us know what your favorite dog is or what kind of dog you have. We would love to see pictures. Um, and I know like a lot of people like to share pictures of their, of their fur babies. So if you're watching, send us a picture in the comments and let us know what kind of dog you have. Maybe what attracted you to that type of dog. Um, James has always wanted a husky. That was one of his, we both grew up with dogs. Um, I grew up on a farm. Basically, um, I don't even know what the breeds of our dogs were. 
they just <laughs> times 57 they, yeah like i think they were rescue dogs most of them and um you had a dog pretty much your whole life as well pretty close yeah when i met you you didn't have a dog no. though they had a cat that was extremely old <laughs> <laughs> she was like the oldest cat i've ever met <laughs> she was a trooper Anyways, I don't want to keep you here too long tonight because it is getting late for our time and we'll just keep this short and simple tonight. So thank you for watching. Say hi. We look forward to chatting with you again next Thursday. Yeah. Have a great weekend, guys. We'll see you next week. See you.